I think the only valid maybe like argument you could make there is like your cognitive function isn't quite set in until you're about 25. No, that's not even true for everybody. I heard that was fake news. It is fake news. In fact, the series of sociological studies, which you would be referencing to bring up the cognitive disparity between... But no, these are sociological studies. Neuroscience especially will be... the Inside of the neuroscientific field especially, what you're talking about is one specific part of the brain which isn't fully developed in a human they, adult female until they're 26 years old. What did they say the old. prefrontal cortex? Is that it? That's that yeah. one part, but... He, the thing is, is like, but, but is it, does it diminish a, your cognitive ability by 1%? I mean, it rings true for mm. me. I, I, I do feel like once I got to about 25, like... Yeah, but you had a whole ton of experience. Had a, a lot more ability to, to make better decisions. But the problem with this is, let's assume for a second that every year you got older, it increased your cognitive ability or whatever by 1% or 2%. Let's assume that never occurred. It just stopped at 2% less than what it is now, and you had the same exact 10 years of experience. Mm-hmm. You would still be way fucking smarter than you would be when you were 16 or 18 or 19 or 20. So the, the question becomes, is it experience or is it the fact that your brain's not completely 100% developed until you're 26 years old? That just seems absurd to me. It's like well, you weren't that much smarter at 26 than you were at 24 or even at 22. Obviously, it's progressive.